right, so Israel Adesanya obviously was mashing through the middleweight division until his rival Alex Pereira showed up. But as he gets back on the proving ground here tonight, DC, most people believe on any given Saturday night, this is still the best middleweight in the world. Well, he's proven it time and time again. He has been the man for so long, it would seem hard for him not to operate in that space. But because he believes in himself, because he recognizes who he is, he takes wins and losses as good as anyone I've ever seen. But when it comes down to the X's and the O's, the guy in his fight ability, Israel Adesanya is as good as they come. A phenomenal kickboxer in much improved wrestling that allows for him to stay upright and make guys fight him where he needs him to. Really seems as though he is getting closer to that mixed martial arts prime, to your point, in terms of putting all the skills together. Israel Adesanya, the last style bender, back in the octagon here tonight. expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pereira not only had a chance, took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. heavyweight title fight. Gears, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Third man in there for this one. All right, well, you know Dana White doesn't trot out a lot of guarantees. He has guaranteed the fan base that this middleweight matchup between former kickboxers, now mixed martial artists, Israel Adesanya, and Alex Pereira is going to be bananas. This is going to be bananas. The kickboxing fights were amazing. They were very competitive fights. Understand that Alex Pereira won both of those fights, but Izzy had his moments. But now Alex enters into Izzy's world, trying to do it once again. If he pulls this off, John, it would be a feat. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the party. Oh, beautifully placed shot to the leg. Oh, the leg 
kick lands. I'm spamming leg kicks if I'm playing the game. Front kick lands for Adesanya. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't show the smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and get the blood. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble, champ. He's hurt bad. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Adesanya gets caught by that straight punch there. Oh! So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. All right, well, the calf kick has been a priority, and now his opponent is bruising. And it's all in the game plan, John. They had a game plan to come out there and beat that lead leg up, and that's exactly what he's doing. Oh, beautiful straight right hand there from Israel Adesanya. You know. oh. Is though still standing, still in their fight. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited and you want to finish him because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. And how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. Lance a jab. Going to the jab on the counter here, blocked by Adesanya. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Adesanya. Oh, doing a great job here defensively, and you've got to be of sound defensive mind to set up your counter shots. He is certainly feeling it in this round. Three minutes now to go round two. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got to hurt very bad. Oh, huge left. Oh. Oh. Trouble right now. Might get the TKO here. Oh, huge ground strikes. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Nicely done. Excellent ground and pound here by Padeda. 
Oh, so an interesting decision here as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut. Perhaps they're on the bridge. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Nice shot there by the champ. These are right big now. shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is starting off the mat. 15 seconds. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, 60 seconds between rounds. That gives us a chance to look at some of the replays from that previous round, including some of the damage sustained on his nose. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice shot that landed that opened up that cut on the nose. Granted... Any cut is bad, but this one is in a spot where it shouldn't affect him too much. What we have to watch, though, John, is if the nose is broken, right. then it's hard for him to breathe. Yeah, get the blood in that nasal cavity, potentially trickles down the throat a little bit. I mean, fighting just sounds like a really fun <laughs> career. Let's get to the next round. And that left hook landed on the button. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. There's the kick. It's blocked. Big power shot there. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you... Oh! That will do it! Alex Pereira! That has got to feel good! Oh, boy! All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 44 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Politan. All right, so it is Alex Pereira by knockout. Get used to hearing that. One of the more powerful, explosive middleweights on the roster and really just getting going.